Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of our new series Rebuild It where we recreate image only emails sent out by real brands using our drag and drop email editor chameleon.io Here at Chameleon we believe that anyone can design a beautiful bulletproof HTML template without necessarily having any coding background and especially not having to send image only emails. So we are kicking off this series with an email template sent out by Nadam. Uh, the template is really nice. It has a simple layout, but it's only composed of images, which is a big no-no in email design. Um, as you can see, I can't even select the text elements. It's one big image. So let's jump right into it and I will show you how you can recreate this exact same template using our online tool. The first thing you want to do is log in to your account at app.chameleon.io and click on new email. Four options will be presented to you. So click on design email from scratch and change your email title which will help you uh, locate it easily later on. Start by changing your email background color to gray. Drag and drop the first element, which is the column element. You can add as many columns as you want, but in this case, we only need five columns for the email header. Using the breadcrumb menu, locate your element box and adjust the margins and paddings. Make sure to click on separate to adjust the spacing options for specific sides only. Scroll down to change the background color of the box to white. Drag and drop an image element in the first column and double click to open the gallery. Click on browse and upload all of your image elements that you will need to recreate the email. Choose the logo. And I noticed that the logo is a bit bigger than what I want. So using the embedded image editor in Chameleon, I can easily crop my image while maintaining the transparent background. So after hitting export, your edited image is saved in the image gallery and the original image is also preserved. So you don't need to worry about losing any visual assets. We are continuing to build the email header and for that we are adding a button element. Double click to edit the text, add a link and make the necessary changes in the format. We are changing the body setting to Roboto Condensed. Now we have many text font options that are email safe and others such as Google Fonts come with a default fallback font which guarantees that your email renders well in different clients. Change the text color, adjust the spacing and margins. We don't need any margins here. The padding options are fine. And uh, change the background color. You can make it transparent. You can make it uh, white, black, any color you want really. Uh, you can even add uh, a background image to your button uh, here you can see you can switch on the background image and uh, select an image for your background for your button and instead of repeating the same process over and over again you can simply select your button and click on duplicate and then move it around and drop it wherever all right so uh, select the multi-column uh, element in the breadcrumb menu and using this slider you can adjust the width of each uh, column which is very cool because uh, it's not specific to a certain uh, number of pixels per column you can really have as much flexibility and freedom as you need now select the image and make it a bit bigger using the slider on the image uh, size under element size um, now this is okay and then scroll down adjust the paddings um, so that it is a bit more centered with the rest of the menu items and all right now let's move on to the next section which is the main image of the email 
So we are dragging and dropping an image element, double click and choose your image. And you can already see that uh, the email is coming together nicely. Now for accessibility reasons, you can add an alternative text for your image, which is also useful for email clients that automatically block images. You can also uh, switch on the link and add uh, a link to your image. And this is cool because uh, in, it serves as a secondary CTA, but it also allows or prevents Gmail from adding the download icon um, automatically. Now, this is the email that we are working with. Um, and we need to start designing this uh, section. So we need a title and uh, another uh, text element and then the CTA. Uh, so what we want is to drag and drop the text element and duplicate it and then add the button. Again, for accessibility reasons, it is better or it's best to uh, choose the, fo the format as H1 and H2 and H3 and then go to the specific format settings um, here on the right to make the changes. Now as you can see this star is a bit big so I can simply select it and using this menu here I can change the size. There you go. All right, so what we noticed here is that the background is white. So using the breadcrumb menu, select the box and make the changes. So for the paddings, that's good enough. And then scroll down for the background color. And now we are making the changes for the CTA button. Seek the softness. Seek. Add your link body text paddings click on separate because we want the top and bottom paddings to be a bit small and the left and right paddings to be a bit bigger adjust the border radius to make the button as square or as round as you want and change the background color to black all right, so we are halfway through the recreation of Nadam's email. If we compare the original email and the email that we have created using our drag and drop email builder, we can see that they are pretty similar. Moving on to the fourth section of the email, we are dragging and dropping the elements that we need to recreate this section. So we are dragging an image element and two text elements. And in this case, we want to make it an H2 instead of H1. So that's the logical structure that we are going for. And we actually have a blog post all about email accessibility guidelines and best practices that can help you send better emails that are accessible to everyone. And you can find a link to that blog post in the description below. Now, instead of repeating the same process over and over again to create the next two elements, we can simply select the block and click on duplicate and make the changes that I need. So double click, change the image, fill in the text and so on. Very straightforward, very easy to use and a very quick and brief way to put an email together. All right, now it's time to design the footer. Um, so we are going to drag and drop the elements that we need. Uh, we need a text element and then a multi-column element. And then, um, let's see, 
text element, multi element, social media icons. Uh, and then another text element. And then an image. All right, so we're gonna skip forward uh, this section until we reach the good part. So what you want to do is drag a box element and drop it on the left uh, column and then insert a text element there. Write your text about us and make the necessary changes like we talked about earlier. So we want to add a link here. So what you want to do is double click on the text element and then click on this link icon here or use the shortcut control K and then uh, copy paste your link and then click OK and then as you can see uh, the link will automatically change colors and become underlined and if you don't want that all you need to do is Go to the right side panel here and scroll down to reach the link options and then change the color uh, and then simply switch off the underline and there you have it. Uh, now repeat the same process for the second uh, box here. Now as you can see there's a line separating about us and stores so you, what you want to do is uh, using the breadcrumb menu locate your box for the right side uh, column and then scroll down to the borders and separate the borders so that you can only edit the left border. Add uh, the, the border and then change the color and there you have it. It's really simple. Also there's a uh, space separating the text here uh, from the divider so what you want to do is simply select your text element and then scroll down to the padding and then for the right for the left box you have to add a padding for the right side and then for the left box you for the right box <laughs> you need to add padding for the left side yeah there you go all right um now the social media icons are very easy to embed like i showed you earlier you simply need to drag and drop the social media icons and they are automatically there for you to customize so click on the uh, on the social uh, set and uh, choose the style that you want you can make it a circle or a transparent circle or flat or square um, I think we will use the flat option here because it looks more like uh, our email and then you can change the color you can leave it colorful or make it black or white or in our case we're making it gray you can also uh, edit the uh, default platforms that you have here so you can we need Instagram Facebook and Twitter so we have Instagram Facebook and Twitter oh Twitter there you go don't forget to add your link twitter.com slash chameleon uh, io there you go and then you can also change the layout you can leave it horizontal or you can make it vertical you can align it to the left or to the right you can make the size of your icons really small or extra large in our case i think the medium size works well and then finally um, adjust the spacing so i think that's 30 pixels between the space uh, between the social media icons is enough for our case here and finally we're going to finish off the footer and i will be right back So yeah, I think we're done. We have successfully managed to recreate Nadam's image-only email using Chameleon. We made the email template more accessible while maintaining all the main design elements. Um, you can preview your final design on desktop 
or on mobile you can see that um, you can select the live text, you can click the buttons, you can even click the images, you can click on uh, uh, these text elements here and the social media icons. Um, now everything looks uh, good here, but on mobile version, this multi-column element here looks a bit weird. So if you want to fix that, all you need to do is go back to the multi-column element um, using the breadcrumb menu and go to stacking and change the stacking to none. So that way the left is not on top and the right is not on top but there is no stacking and your um, multi-column element will look the same both on mobile and on desktop. Now after designing your email you can share it with uh, your, your colleagues uh, using a test email or you could simply uh, get a shareable link um, copy it and you can send this shareable link to uh, your colleagues so there you have it thank you for watching the first episode of our rebuild it series where we recreate image only emails using our drag and drop email builder we hope you enjoyed this episode um, and you learned a few tricks on how to use our drag and drop editor if you have any questions uh, feel free to contact us uh, via email or uh, other social media channels you will find everything in the description below and uh, meet us next time for another episode have a good day and uh, be safe.